Welcome back, my name is Aiden Robbins. I'm a filmmaker and YouTuber, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use one-click color matching and LUTs in Adobe Premiere Pro to color correct and color grade your footage. To do this, we'll need to make sure that our Lumetri color panel is visible so we have all of our color correction and color grading options. So now that we've got that open, let's go ahead and dive into one-click color matching. This is a way to quickly and easily match the colors between two clips. And it's useful in an example like this one where we have one clip which was shot on a DSLR camera and one which was shot on a drone. So the colors are definitely not matching quite yet, but that's what color matching is for. So in order to do this, we're going to need to open up the color wheels and match section of the Lumetri color panel and open up the comparison view. If you look at the program monitor, you'll see we now have the clip we're color correcting on the right. And then on the left side, we are able to scrub through our timeline and choose a reference frame. And the reference frame is what Premiere is going to be taking the colors from and matching our main clip to. So we're going to take this clip on the left and make the clip on the right match it. Once you've picked out your reference frame, just go ahead and click apply match and you'll see Premiere automatically adjusts all these different settings in the color wheels to ensure that the colors are consistent between these two clips. Next up, let's talk about LUTs. And there are two different ways that you can apply a LUT in the Lumetri color panel. You can apply them in the basic correction section, or you can apply them in the creative section. Applying a LUT in the basic correction section is very basic and doesn't give you any control over the strength of the LUT. So it's pretty much just good for applying a conversion LUT. So this particular clip was shot in V-Log on a Panasonic camera, so it is very flat. And I'd like to use a conversion LUT to convert it to Rec. 709, or basically just to normal looking colors. So I'm going to click on the input LUT panel here and click browse. Then I'm going to find this folder in my documents folder that has all my LUTs in it. And I'm going to find my conversion LUT for this particular footage, open it up, and you'll see that the footage now looks a lot more lifelike. You can also use the creative panel to apply a LUT. So I have this example here where I've already color corrected this clip and I'm going to apply what's called a stylistic LUT. And this is different from a conversion LUT because it's meant to be used on footage that's already been color corrected or converted and give it a certain stylistic look. So I'm going to go through the exact same process but in the creative panel. Just click next to look, hit browse and select my stylistic LUT, this one's called Moody. It's one that I made myself. Then I just click open and the result does not look very good. This is because stylistic LUTs are typically not meant to be used at their full strength. And that's what's good about applying them in the creative tab is that you can then lower the intensity to get a result that looks much better. We can lower down the strength at which that LUT is being applied and make sure that it's not completely destroying our clip. And there you have it, a couple techniques to very quickly color correct and color grade your footage. And in the next video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use masks to take your color grading a little further and create some other fun effects as well.